Newtown, Pennsylvania. Right now we are letting the car charge and warm up, and then I'm going to unplug the alternator again so we have a fresh battery to make it over to the kids' third hockey game of the weekend, and uh, we'll pick you up from there. It's about a 10 minute drive, I don't see there being any issues, if there is, we'll let you know. The winner of the Guess the Car Contest was Jason Amadon. Thank you for the comment. I'll email you for your address to give you a sweatshirt and some stickers. Alice called to let us know that our rear tires are both a little low. I noticed the right rear is a little low. She says the left rear is a little low. And on top of that, the tranny's slipping a little bit between gears, so we're going to have to check the tranny fluid again when we get to the hockey game. All right, well, Maggie's getting geared up for the hockey game. We are getting some air in the tire, so that when we're done with the game, we can get right on the road. She might have we'll bad also charge quality. Huh? The, the audio might not have the best quality because of the... Well, the air pump. Yeah, and we're charging the battery with the alternator hooked up right this second, too. We are done with the hockey game. Another quick 10 minute charge session. Undo our charging. Head to the gas station, fill up, head home. Let's go. We got two hours to get home. We got Maggie with me shotgun. Let's go. We are taking a bathroom break and filling up with gas again in Shenango Fork. Another 25 bucks, see how far that gets us. Maggie's my co-pilot helping me navigate while we film. And our next stop is to get some kind of lunch on the way home. Been driving here for about 20 minutes into the trek home. Gassed up. We're on some beautiful back roads through the Shenango Valley and Shenango Fork. Hoping that this next 100 and like five ten miles or so it goes smooth looks like we have about uh, two hours of driving these roads are just so much fun on a really floaty car like this that it's not fast but it feels kind of dangerous as you go around the corners and stuff we are hoping to hit some kind of lunch on the way home and we'll catch up with you guys as we go and i'm just going to kind of hyperlapse some of this because it's really pretty Made it back to Clay, New York, and grab some chilies. I'm gonna let this charge up for a minute before we go in. Ugh. 
It is raining and shitty out. Let that charge up for a few minutes here. Let's get some salt on her. About to wash it. Alright, done it. Delicious chilies. Let the car charge again for a minute and then make the final about half hour drive home. They're coming in on the end of the trip. I think that uh, we're gonna most likely make it home without much of an issue. The car runs fantastic today. My wire that I replaced under the dash and under the hood both seem to be cold, not hot. And as long as I have that alternator unplugged for periods of time when I'm actually driving, then just plug it back in for a minute or two to idle until I can replace the alternator, I was able to go almost two hours of driving on just the battery without any problem. We're running the wipers, the fan, everything, the heat, everything. Honestly, it's not as dirty as I thought it was going to be. Still going to have to wash it down because I'm sure it's just because it's wet that you can't see the salt. And the underside, I'm sure it's covered in junk. So, thanks for tuning into the series. I'm likely just going to list this up for sale in the next week or so. Hopefully catch some early tax money.